uh, this is a second video for our review before we start with our calculation so let's uh, review some more prerequisite skills so we learn about functions so what is a function a function it is a relationship between uh, two variables x and y such that for any value of x there will be one and only one value of y so i've given some examples over here so let me explain to you in detail so now let's look at this case over here let's pick a value of x so i just pick a value of x as one so what will be my value of y yes it will be what it will be 1 plus 23 and y will be what y will be 24. so you can see the value of at x equal to 1 what is my value of y that's your 24. let's take another value of y i took 5. so when i take the value of x as 5 what is the value of uh, y so y will become what 28 at what at uh, x equal to 5. So you can see at a, at a specific value of x, the value of y is also a specific value. Let's look at another one over here. Now this says y is equal to x square plus 15. So I will take as x value of x, let me take as, I'm just thinking what value of x I should take. Okay, let's, let's take uh, four over here. Or let's just take two over here. When the value of x is 2, what will happen over here? This will become 2 square. So what is 2 square? 4 plus 5, 15 is what? 19. So my value of y is 19. If I change my value of x as 4, what will happen over here is, instead of this 2, I will have what? 4 square. Let's scratch it off. It will be 4 square. That will be 16. So 16 plus 15, y is my 31. So you can see uh, at the specific value of x we have one and only one value of y over here so these are some examples of functions now there is second method to find out whether the given uh, equation uh, given function uh, given graph or given equation is a function now in this case we have been given as a graph they have not given us equation it's a graph it says for the function definition to should be true we use a test which is called vertical line test so in a vertical line test what happens is you will draw a vertical line and if the vertical line crosses through the graph only at exactly one point then we say a graph is a function so let me show you how to do that so what i'm doing is i'm drawing a vertical line i just started drawing a random point over here so how many times the line this my red color line crosses this at exactly one point so it is what a function just draw anywhere i just i just pick it somewhere in the middle if my lines are not straight because i'm just writing on a writing pad is not straight so it is what it is a function let's check over here now this is this looks like this is a quadratic function so i just pick this point over here and i'm drawing a vertical line so you just pass exactly one anywhere you can draw one point one point anywhere you can draw it is exactly one point so this is what these are what this is an example of function now the third way to represent our function it is in the tabular form sometimes function it can be also be represented as a set of ordered pair or a relation uh, we use this when we do not know the equation so this is an example over here we have values of x and we have values of y now as you can see that at, at, at the value of x what is the value of y there's a corresponding value that's called six over here and you can see all of these are unique values for each and every value of x okay so we all say there is only one y value for each x value let's go to the next slide now these are some examples of equations which are not functions and let me explain to you how they are not functions. okay so in this case what i have to take i have to just take a value of x so in this case what i will do is i'm taking the value of x as what i'm taking the value of x as 16. so when i take the value of x as 16 my equation looks like this y is where y square is equal to uh 16 uh minus 3 okay now let's i'm just trying to take something else instead of 16 let me take the number as 19 okay so i will scratch it off and i will take this as 19. so when i take this as 19 this will be my what 19 so it is my 19 minus 3 so what will be my answer over here it will be y square is equal to 16. and after this what we do is we take the radical on both the sides now do keep in mind when you take the radical on this side it will be with a plus and minus sign because either it can be a negative or positive value so my answer over here is y is equal to plus minus 4 or i got my what i got two values of 4 negative 4 and positive 4 over here now this is not possible because 
in a function there should be exactly one value of y should be paired with exactly one value of x so in this case we got two values of y that's that's not working for us so this means what this is not a function let's take another one over here so in this case what i'm what i took is i took a value of x as 3 so it will be what 3 cube so so it will be y square is equal to 3 cube minus 2 so y square is equal to this is my 27 minus 2 uh, use your calculator whenever you're doing any numerical uh, you know calculations and all use calculator 3 to the power 3 means 3 times 3 times 3 that will give you 27 so y is equal square is equal to 25 after this what you do is we take the radical on both the sides and this will be plus and minus so y is equal to plus minus 5 so how many values of y have we got it over here we got two values of y so this is what this is uh, not not satisfying the definition of function so this is not a function please make sure to copy all of these notes in your binder now, now let's look at this graph over here we have to find out whether this fails the vertical line test or not now remember what is vertical line test we draw a, a vertical line and it should pass to a graph only exactly at one point then only it is a function so if I draw a vertical, I just draw a random vertical line at this place over here. Now you can see, oops, it passed through what? It is passing through two points on this graph. So this means no, it is not a function. Or in other words, this it failed the vertical line test. Let's do over here. I will just do over here at this point. Oops, I can see over here it passes the graph at how many points? Two points. This means what? Not a function. So this is how we check for the vertical line test now which of the following is not a function how we can do it just pick any value of x i'm taking a value of x uh, as 2 over here let's take an example i took 2 so this will become what it is y is equal to 2 to the power 5 plus 2 and minus 6 so what you can do is you can use your calculator and you will end up how many values of y only one value of y so this is my uh, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 16, 32, 32 plus 2 is what? 34, 34 minus 6 which will give me what? 28 over here. How many values of y I got? Only one. So this is a function. No question is asking which is not a function. So we don't, we, but this is not the correct choice. Let's go to the next one. I will again pick the value of x as 2 again in this case. So if I pick it, it will be y plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 2. So what is this y plus 1 is equal to 4 or in subtract 1 from both the sides y is equal to what 3 over here. So how many values of y you got? Only one value at x equal to 1. So this is a function. So the last choice this is not a function. How? Now in this case again I will do it. I will pick a value of x. Let's take an example. I took a value of x as 4. All right. So it will be y square is equal to 4 square. Okay, so it will be y square is equal to 16 and when I will take the radical on both the sides, so my y will be equal to what? Plus 4 plus minus 4 or y is equal to what? 4 and minus 4. How many values of y I got? 2. So this is the correct choice. This means it is not a function. We will learn about how to evaluate a function. When you are asked to, uh, when you are asked to evaluate a function, at a specific value x equal to 2 we use this notation f of 2 okay so now they have given us an equation f of x equal to 3x square plus 17x minus 23 and we have been asked to evaluate f of 2 so how do we evaluate f of 2 is you will take your c you, you can see over here the value of x is what 2 so wherever i will see x over here i will replace that by what number the i will replace that by 2 so this is how we evaluate our functions i replace this x by 2 since it is a square it became a square plus 17 x oops i i said x so this means the value of x is 2 over here minus 23 uh, you can type this entire function in your calculator you'll get the answer so but if i'm doing uh, man ma manually i have to write all the steps over here but you can type this in a calculator it will be a lot more easy for you so 12 plus uh, 34 minus 23 okay so it will be my 6 and this will be my 46 minus 23 and my answer will be what 23 so what is my value of f of 2 my value of f of 2 is what 23 this is how we evaluate a function at a specific value 
and that's our answer for this question okay go ahead and copy the solution now this is your part over here i want you to take some time uh find the value of f of 3 given the function f of x is equal to x square plus 5x plus 3 uh, go ahead and pause the video and solve this question on your own and then we check our answer okay so our answer is uh you know we just substitute the value of f of 3 x square will be 3 square plus 5 times 3 and this we got our answer 27. Great job you got the right answer. Let's go to the next problem. Make sure to use the calculator. Another question is find the value of f of 10 given f of x is equal to 3x square plus x minus 15. Only thing what you do is you have to replace x by the given value negative 10. So let's see. Yes that's the answer over here. Okay. So let's go to the next problem over here. I will encourage you and I will advise you go ahead and uh, pause this video and check whether you got the same answer or not. Sometimes I do get wrong answers also. Okay, now this is, we will learn about function notation. Uh, consider the equation y is equal to 3x squared plus 17x minus 23. Thus following in the same is the same equation written in function notation. So instead of if I'm writing in function notation, instead of my y, it will be fx. Now we will call this as f of x is equal to 3x square plus 17x minus 23. So sometimes if you see a question is asking, write the given equation in a function notation. Only thing you have to write f. Since the all the values are in x, it will be f of x is equal to 3x square plus 17x minus 23. Okay, so now do keep in mind it is not the variable f multiplied by x it is an alternative way of right representing y and it is read as f of x as i mentioned earlier now it says find the value of f x plus 2 given f of x is equal to x square plus 5 x minus now in this case what is happening is they have not given us any constant they gave us f of x plus 2 but our procedure is still same Wherever you are seeing x, that will be represented by this whole quantity x plus 2 over here. Now, so what I will write, I will write it over here, f of x. Okay, let's first of all write the equation. This, this is a function which has been given over here. They want us to find, okay, this is what? This is my minus sign. So this is my minus sign over here. Now, this, I have to find the value of f x plus 2. So this will be my f x plus 2. Now what you can see is the value of x has been changed to what? x plus 2. So I will come back to the right side. This is my x. Do keep in mind this is no longer x. The value of x has been changed to what? x plus 2. So it will be x plus 2. But since it was having a square, I will put a square over here. Plus 5. Now it is x. Now do keep in mind there is no more x. What is the value of x? x plus 2. So it will be what? x plus 2. Minus 8. Now I have to expand this. I can expand this by using distributive property or multiplication. I'm doing this over here, this part for you. X plus 2 whole square means I can write it like this. You all know how to do this. You take your x, you multiply with both the quantities over here. So it is my x square plus 2x. As you can see, this is a distributive property. I have to multiply this 2 also over here. So this will be 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4. And it is your x square plus 4x plus 4. So instead of this x plus 2, I will write it over here, x square plus 4x plus 4. Now I do not call this a scratch work, I usually call it as useful work. Okay, so always make it a habit instead of right doing all the steps over here, do it on the side and bring it back to your original work. So this will be my 10 minus 8. Why? I did what? Distributor property of multiplication. Let's simplify this. So do I see any x square? No. So this is x square. What about x terms? Yes, I do have this one. Anything else I have? No. So it will be my what? 9x. I will look for this constants. 10 plus 4 is 14. Minus 8 will give me what? Plus 6. And this is my answer over here. So what happened is when I expanded, the, when I, the value of f of x plus 2 is x square plus 9x plus 6. Uh, let's talk about graphing functions. It is important to be able to graph functions. Okay, you should have learned about this in advanced algebra class about uh, graphing functions or in pre-calculus class also about graphing functions. Okay, I will go a little go a little bit uh, overview and then go. 
uh, from the previous question now tell me uh, what what is the equation of these graphs over here if you can write it that's great now I, I know this graph is what this is yours y is equal to x square because it's a quadratic function over here so this is for y equal to x square now what happened in this case over here drop down how many times from here this is a parent function so drop down one two and three so it dropped down to negative 3 over here okay so y equal to x square is a minus 3 over here and what what else happened over here okay and along with this it looks a big also and this one it went to other side over here so let's see what happens okay so middle one is y equal to x so that's great now for the a1 i said it would drop down three points over here one two and three that was a minus three and uh, it says plus two also over here now do keep in mind that's the original place is zero it went what it went one and two sides over here one and two points over here and three points down so it was minus two whole square over here and similarly for the third we're doing the same thing now i want you to copy this uh equate this uh func uh, what i should say uh this is an equation for uh, transforming function it just tells you everything okay so let's see what all, all of this means. So I would like you to copy everything. Uh, this says uh, you will learn about this in uh, algebra. So what is lowercase letter A? It represents vertical stretch or compress or opening up and down. Plus and minus horizontal slide and vertical slide and all these over here. Go ahead and copy this. Now, which of the following is the graph of f of x as x squared? As you all know, it's a quadratic function. Uh, option choice B will be the correct answer for this. Please make sure to draw the graphs also. Make sure what, uh, first of all, draw this graph, copy the quotient, draw the graph, and then check for your answers. Which of the following is the graph of natural log of x? So let's see which one is the graph of. Make sure again you are copying the quotient, drawing the graphs. In future you will know which is the, these are the parent function. Option choice C, this is the one for the natural log of x. And if you're having a graphing calculator, you can plot this also over there. It says f of x equal to x cubed. That's a cubic polynomial. And option choice A is the correct answer for this. Go ahead and copy the quotient also. Draw the diagram option choice a and now it says f of x is equal to 1 over x so then was option choice d is the correct answer for this d for dynamic now the question says which of the following is the graph of f of x equal to sine x so what happens over here is uh, this is the graph option choice c is the correct answer for this please make sure you need to draw the graph properly now do keep in mind it crosses from origin over here so this is very important okay where it's going all right so that's important go ahead and copy the uh, graph so let's see what's which is the correct answer yes option choice c is the correct answer